the spread of the epidemic of coronavirus, as you know, hit uh, Italy very hardly, and uh, Italy is now the second country after China for number of people infected by this disease. And this meant uh, that uh, a serious crisis has been created in, in the country, and uh, which is exposing not only the sanitary problem, the health problem, but also all the social and political problems which were been piling up for many years and, and even, even decades. And uh, I don't want to go too, too deep into the figures because they are of public uh, knowledge. We are now around 24,000 people who are, uh, posit have been tested positive to the, to the virus, although the global figure is unknown because most people who have been tested have already showed uh, heavy symptoms of the disease. We don't know how many people are ill or have been ill uh, without being tested. But uh, the, the key point to understand that the emergency was not created by the virus itself, which is of course a serious threat to public health, but certainly not impossible to handle for a country like Italy in, in general terms. But it was created by the uh, appalling state of the national health system, which used to be, uh, and partly is sti still is, uh, a good, uh, a strong national health system, which was created basically after the big worker strikes and struggles of the 70s. So it was a, a direct uh, conquest, a direct uh, victory and result of the working class struggle during decades but uh, has been subjected to a, a long, uh, a 30 years long uh, strategy of uh, dismantling and attack by the ruling class. And this meant that th this emergency felt over an already uh, debilitated body, uh, speaking in social and political terms, uh, which turned what was a, a serious problem into a, a very deep crisis. And uh, this is uh, the first lesson which I think has been hammered home to millions or tens of millions of people these days, that uh, in order to protect, seriously protect uh, public health, you need a public national health system. And uh, this is no longer what it used to be in the past. Uh, for 30 years after it was established, the ruling class has been moving trying to, on one side, to weaken the general and universal character of the health uh, system, and on the other side, trying to uh, uh, put its hands upon the most profitable parts of it. This meant uh, a policy of creeping uh, privatization uh, um, and uh, of uh, dismantling the most... Uh, what we're, what we're seeing as the most uh, uh, costly and uh, less profitable parts of it, closing down small uh, hospitals, closing down uh, services which were spread over uh, on, uh, on, the, on the all of the national, uh, all, all, the, all the country, and uh, applying the typical uh, business logic to hospitals, to health uh, uh, services, as if, if it was uh, any capitalist company. And another uh, serious uh, threat to the national health system was the so-called regionalization, which was implemented uh, at the beginning of this century, which meant that uh, the national health, uh, health system was split and uh, into 20 original uh, systems, which uh, acted uh, uh, each one on his own and uh, exacerbating the already heavy problem of different, uh, of big differences in the conditions in the different regions of the country, particularly between the north and the south. 
as a, a result of all this, it has been estimated in the, these last years that between 9 and 11 million people in Italy do not treat their uh, do not uh, treat themselves properly, do not have a real access to uh, public uh, health care, either because it has become too costly, although it's public, or because uh, it is simply non-existent in their own uh, regions or cities, or because the queues are so long that it makes meaningless to try to have a test, a visit, or any sort of, of treatment. And the question of, uh, of this epidemic felt on this already debilitated system. Just uh, one more figure to understand what we are talking about. At this moment, there are only 5,000 beds in uh, intensive care units in uh, all the national, uh, uh, in, in all the country. And uh, already in normal years, during the winter, these uh, intensive care units used to work over the uh, normal level, the, over their capability, just because of seasonal flu or other the seasonal disease. And now it's completely exploding under the impact of these uh, epidemics. And uh, this uh, has been shown in the last... Uh, weeks after it became clear that the disease was going to spread uh, outside China and uh, in general all uh, in, uh, almost all countries in, in the world and certainly in, uh, in Europe and uh, the official reaction the government reaction to this has been quite erratic in the first period in the first days they moved from uh, uh, sounding uh, the alarm and then uh, preaching uh, uh, back to normal and then again to panic uh, uh, generating uh, statements and measures. This was mainly due to the weak nature of this government which is a very unstable coalition and generally the weakness, the political weakness of the ruling class in Italy which is very divided and very um, incapable, completely incapable of dealing with any serious social problem like this, uh, like this one. So for several weeks uh, they moved from closing uh, the flights from China and uh, creating some so-called red zones, that is quarantine areas for uh, a number of villages which have been identified as uh, hotspots of the spread of the disease, but uh, uh, as this proved uh, completely useless, they moved to uh, shutting down schools and university, and then uh, gradually, and, but with a very, uh, with a very fast pace, increasing fast pace, uh, proceeded to shut down until the shutdown of the whole country, basically, a few days, a few days ago. And uh, all these measures try to convey the image of a government taking stern measures, a strong government which is in control of the situation. But as a mat uh, the matter of fact is that they have been moving slowly, contradictory, and uh, always uh, uh, two or three steps behind the real situation on, uh, on the ground. And uh, moreover, these measures were highly contradictory because while people were invited to stay at, ho at home and schools were closed and so on, uh, everyone had to go to work on, on, on the usual overcrowded trains or, or buses to stay in the workplace, to exchange, uh, uh, to, to, to meet a lot of other, uh, other people and probably to spread the disease. And so there was this uh, very feeling of uneasiness, which was increasing and piling up in the, in the population. And this uh, uh, exploded on the day of the 11th of March, March 11th, which was the day, uh, two days after the shutdown was uh, ex extended to the whole of the, of the country. Because uh, up until that moment, 
the situation was still not very clear, but uh, that day the government announced uh, further uh, shutdowns and further uh, a tightening up of the measures, and everybody was expecting some sort of uh, uh, of a shutdown also in workplaces. Uh, it must be said that the trade union leaders completely deserted their duties. They, up until that day, they basically say, said, okay, follow the advice, follow the, the pres prescription, and take care of yourself and uh, see when all this is over. They just uh, went, went on holiday to, be, to call things by the right name. Uh, and so in that week, Already there had been some strikes, most notably a spontaneous strike in the Fiat plant in Pomigliano d'Arco, close to Naples, uh, where basically the workers said, we don't feel secure going to work in these conditions, and we don't understand why everybody must stay at home and we must go to work to produce, to create profit with no, no safety or almost no safety measures for us. And so when the government uh, on that evening uh, announced that uh, further sectors were closing but factories and main workplaces had to go on, that was seen as a slap in the face by the working class, which basically had, had been told uh, you are not uh, going to be protected by, by the government, you will just have to go to work and, and create profits for your companies. And so the following two days, this week, uh, there was a, a real strike wave, particularly in the, in the metal industry, uh, where the workers struck basically asking for shutdowns or at least for serious uh, safety measures in order not to be uh, put at risk. Because it is clear that the question of uh, face masks, gloves, of uh, overcrowded uh, parts of the plant on the assembly line, on other other shops, maybe you cannot keep the distance which the government said you must keep of at least one meter, of canteens, of uh, other common places, and so on. Uh, so uh, there was there were strikes in uh, several important uh, factories, like for instance in Fincantieri, which is a shipyard like in uh, Fiat, as I said, in Bonfiglioli, in Toyota Cesar, in uh, GKN, which is an auto supplier, in, uh, in the chemical industry, in Brescia, and so on. Also some uh, drivers from, from some uh, shipment companies uh, struck or stopped in protest in one way or another. And this forced uh, uh, the trade union leadership, the main trade union federation, to come out of their lethargic sleep and to say something. And so the, 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 the government called a negotiation uh, two days ago in order to discuss what to do in the, in the workplaces. It must be said that in several companies, uh, the bosses themselves decided to shut down uh, to avoid the uh, most confrontation. This was notably the case in uh, four Fiat plants, and after two days, also the Ferrari car, uh, plant in, in Modena, in Maranello, which had announced previously that they were going to go on uh, with uh, production. They said they are going to close for two weeks in order to implement the necessary safety measures and uh, with full pay for the, for the employees, for the workers. So that was a, a very good example of, uh, of uh, the effect that this workers' action had. A similar uh, events was in, event was in Ducati factory in Bologna, which is going to close for one week. And uh, there are many other uh, examples of this. And uh, it must be emphasized that all this was the result of the initiative from below but by, by the workers or the shop stewards, because the trade unionists just gave a general uh, cover, so to speak, a general uh, consent to strike action, but didn't organize almost uh, nothing, close to nothing, in order to 
protect the, the working class in this uh, occurrence. Another important uh, event uh, was a dramatic revolt in uh, tens of, tens of um, jails, which, according to the minister, involved some 6,000 uh, inmates. Uh, Italian jails are horrible are completely overcrowded, completely unhealthy and inhuman. And the idea of an epidemic spreading there is just a nightmare. And moreover, the government announced the cut down of uh, the, uh, of the possibility to meet uh, family members or lawyers and so on. And this uh, ignited a revolt, which was, uh, uh, which resulted in 14 uh, people killed and the government is trying to keep a complete silence on this uh, we don't even know their names and uh, why they uh, the, 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 the events which led to their to their death and shows how deep this crisis is going on in the in society and uh, so the situation is moving very fast uh, the main uh, watchword which uh, had been heard uh, by the workers in these days was we are not cannon fodder. Uh, we are not prepared just to, to, to die or to fall ill just for the sake of profit, just for the greedy uh, behavior of the companies and uh, of the government, which is clearly bending to, the, to their will. And uh, so it is still possible that next week we'll have more of these strikes, although the government now had to backtrack somewhat, partially, and said uh, they will guarantee they will cover at least part of the wage if companies have to shut down in order to ensure safety conditions and so on. Uh, the government will cover uh, at least part of the, of the wage. There are many workers who are already at home unwaged. I mean, I'm talking about casual workers, self-employed workers, and so on, small businesses. We are talking about tens or hundreds of thousands of people who already are losing money uh, in, this, uh, in this situation. And uh, the ruling class is, of course, very, very worried. There are editorials uh, on, this, on this line. First, uh, the, there is a revolt in jails, now there is a revolt in, in factories, and this means that the social fabric of the country is basically breaking down. And uh, this uh, is a testimony of the fact that the ruling class not only is not controlling what, what, what is going on, but is, is seriously worried about how it has been exposed in a, in a way that it, it has never been in, uh, in the past, at least in the, in the, recent, uh, in the recent past. Uh, everywhere and everyone knows and states and uh, is conscious that uh, the private sector has, uh, has failed, that the public sector must be defended, must be expanded, that public interest must prevail over private profit and private interest. This is a, a very deep overturn in, uh, the masses consciousness and uh, of course the government is taking advantage of this uh, uh, warlike situation so they wave the flag they ask to sing the national anthem and uh, this sort of gimmick of gimmick but uh, it is not it's it's not going to, to have a, a deep effect people are scared of course and uh, they want to see the serious measures that they also prepare to take some hardship to, uh, to endure this situation as long as they can. But this uh, means that uh, when, uh, as soon as, as this enormous pressure which has been put over on, uh, on society will begin to, will begin to release, uh, the masses will present their bill to the government, to the ruling class, to the international institutions, also like the European Union, which is showed once more to be complete alien, completely alien to the interest of the of the masses, of the working class, of ordinary people, and so 
we must see this big crisis as something in which is testing, which is a, a, a dramatic occurrence, which in which we must be part and uh, to, to, to stand side by side with our class to uh, help help it to organize its own defense, to defend its uh, its life, its uh, health, its uh, living conditions in this occurrence, but also as an element of enormous radicalization, which in perspective will create uh, conditions for a, an explosion of the class struggle as we have never been seen from for generations.